Yes, welcome to another episode of Style Your Consult. I'm Bianca Curry. You sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger's fucking so, love, <laughs> love child he never claimed. I did not have sex with that black woman. I did not do have it. Have you seen those uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's where it's all his voice and it's him just doing songs? <laughs> when he did Bone Thugs and Harmony. Bone, 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 bone. Tell me what you're going to do when they at the high. That is one of the best. Arnold Schwarzenegger doing Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> He's like, like, arms, it will always be God's God. <laughs> That was the funniest shit ever. I mean, that's what AI is supposed to be used for. It's pure entertainment, not this scamming, not this, I this trickery, this hateration that we got going on, but just I'm, pure comedy. I'm not gonna lie, one of the funniest ones, well, just a meme was. Because you do a great Arnold. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. I mean, you know what? I swear, I wish I had an idea. I'd be on Shark Tank. I wanna be on Shark Tank so that would idea. And have those. So a bunch of rich niggas can rob you for your. <laughs> Wait, you think I'm gonna still live here? <laughs> Shit! I'm, if I got some money, I'm not. Living but if you get in a business with them, they're they're going to fucking rip you off. I don't believe that they're good partners whatsoever. I believe that they would elevate your game, and that's what. I, and I think that'd be great, man. You saw Famous Amos was on there with another set of cookies. Really? Yeah, they call it Big Kahuna Cookie or something like that. I think. I think it'd be great. So I mean, I, if you don't know the story of Famous Amos, Famous Amos was an old black dude who made these cookies because he just liked to make cookies. And then uh, he sold the company and they still have his face on there. He makes no money off of it. None. None. Not a dime. He's like Uncle Ben. Yep. Damn. So he came back on Shark Tank and he had, I think it was a big coon, but none of them <laughs> fucked with him. <clears throat> he said, I want my daddy's records. Like, Nigga, you like 95. Why I want my rid- daddy's records. It probably died penniless. Kind of like the, kind of like the black dude that invented uh, Jack Daniels and, and he didn't get no credit for it. All the other black people invented everything else that this country runs off of. KFC, no credit for Popeye, <laughs> <laughs> Subway, no, just the joking. White House. <laughs> That is true. The Capitol building. <laughs> before or after the riot. The Washington Monument. Hey, before or after the white freak. That Nick. whole goddamn city, matter of fact. Hey, white freak Nick. That was January 6th. <laughs> they were sitting on the bank. Hey, man, we, 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 we came here to Washington. Look at us. You know, they're fucking dangling their feet off the thing and everything. It's the worst planned coup attempt ever. Yeah. But you got to take a duffel bag if you're going to take over the country. You can't just come in your riot outfit and expect <laughs> that... It's a one-day affair. Showing their faces. I mean, how ignorant did you, th- like, what did you think was going to happen? You're gonna- they didn't. I mean, what makes you think, hey, my favorite line from a movie, these two uh, thieves, it was Benicio Del Toro and Ryan Phillippe, and probably James Conn, he goes, they never going to try to, you know, work out a deal. He goes, so who's the brains of this operation? He goes, tell you the truth, it's not really a brains operation. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I lost it. I'd have been out, right? Then. I tell you the truth, it's not See really ya. A, a brains <laughs> operation. Dude, that's hilarious. Oh, I gotta go. that's, oh, so what's your favorite uh, heist criminal movie? Heist, man. You know what? I love the Ocean's Eleven movies. They they were pretty good. Ocean. Did o- you like uh, the female Ocean? Was it no. Ocean's Nine? No. You didn't like it. I didn't watch it at all. Really? You didn't watch it? No. Was it's, it good? it's actually pretty good. Okay, but I didn't watch it at if all. If you like the the heist movies, yeah, yeah. I like that. Uh, Ocean's Eleven. Um, would you call it Mission Impossible? Wouldn't be a heist movie, was it? Would it? No, be? that's espionage. Okay, so heist, yeah. I mean, for some reason, Mission Impossible comes to mind. Did you ever see uh, Hurricane Heist? No. Good. <laughs> because that movie fucking sucks. Okay. Thanks. Basically, the plot is they're trying to rob this bank, and the fucking hurricane comes. And so... Who was in that movie? I don't fucking remember. Oh. Somebody who just wanted a quick check. But it was really bad. It sounds it like it. It was so... You know. Well, okay, it was like Sharknado and then that movie or what? It was like Sharknado fucked uh, its illegitimate <laughs> cousin. <laughs> it's funny you said it. It's kind of a non sequitur, but still, of all the movies, like the spy movies, which, which did you pick between James Bond, Jason Bourne, Mission Impossible, uh, rank them in order, or those top Okay, three? well, for me, I will go... Uh, Mission Impossible first okay. uh-huh. because believe it or not every last one of those movies is pure entertainment like they're entertaining movies I think they're all uh, that person I think they all are a lot of people hate Tom Cruise and I understand why but I just in this particular franchise 
I enjoy him. I think he's great. I think the cast of characters, uh, uh, what's your boy? Um, we have the meats. Oh, uh, Bing Rames. Bing Rames. Yeah. He's, he's good. Ethan. Yeah. Ethan, you got to get out right now, Ethan. Ethan, Ethan hurry Ethan, up. You got to get out of there right now, Ethan. They're coming, Ethan. Hold on. I got to do an Arby's commercial. <laughs> but Ethan, get out of there right now. Ethan, yeah. five for five. Ethan, <laughs> we have the meat. It's always a cool plot. Um, Rogue Nation is probably my favorite one. Um, so, Mission Possible Mission one. Mission Possible, and then I'm not a. I would. I guess I'd. Have, the other two franchises, I'm not like. There are parts of James Bond that I really like. Like I like Golden Eye, and I like The World Is Not Enough. I'm not really hip to Daniel Craig's versions of Bond. Let me tell you something, man. I never really was a Bond dude, but man, I ain't gonna lie. Skyfall, Skyfall, and that last one, man, I ain't gonna lie. I almost cried the last one because he died. He goes, he said something, and he just knew he wasn't gonna make it. Fuck! I was like, I was like, oh, he actually died. I mean, so See, if I, I can't but, say shit that you cried at fucking a Jane Fonda movie because I cried at Nutty Professor. Wow, what we're seeing when when they was roasting them and you know they what? were leaving the club and he told uh, Jada Pickett, you know I'm always gonna be a big man and if you want to see other people then it's fine because you know it was just sad because he was like God damn the whole club was laughing at this nigga and he was like you know what? Yeah. man I was in the movie theater <laughs> I'm sorry Sherman they shouldn't have been so fucking mean to you <laughs> Sherman wait a minute. <laughs> Jada Pinkett, wait a minute. I don't care what that guy said. I love you for you. Which one's the better, Jada or Janet? Uh, the first one's a better movie. Yeah. Uh, Eddie. No, no offense to Janet. I love Janet Jackson. Eddie still killed it in everyone. God damn it. He good. is so He still doesn't get enough credit yeah. for how amazing he is. And he's one of the most uh, famous people on the planet. But I don't think he gets enough credit. I he really did. don't think he, he gets enough credit. That new uh, 48, or not, was it 48 Hours? No, Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills I Cop. thought it was terrible. You, really? Yeah, I gave it a bad review. Yeah, because I, I just thought, like, he didn't grow up. He, he wore the same Letterman jacket, the same car. I was like... It was an old. It, you know what? It was, an, I, it, was, it, was, it was an old to the past, but it was fun in the present. People say that, but I still was like, nah. No, you're, I mean, you're just I, I, no, I'm not a hater. I, I really work because I was like, here we go with Eddie. And I thought, you know, like, there comes a time when you got to go, yeah, maybe tip a hat to something to the, you know, to the past, but you got to grow in a way. It's like, I, I, sequels never grow. Sequels stay in the past. Here's this, I agree with you because when he did Coming to America too, that movie was like a circle jerk for the first movie. And it's like, hey, you're not moving the, you got to move the ball. You got to move the needle. Yeah, you know, when and, it's third down and, you know. And that's, what, that's the thing about sequels. Like 40, another 48 hours. Same way almost. It's like, Why you know. Why don't you just say two days later? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but even Eddie Murphy said, he goes, you know what it's like to be in the movie theater watching yourself on screen? You're fat and you're not funny. And I thought that was great when he said like, that. Yeah. But, uh... I, th I thought that was great, though. It was like, he was honest. So it's like, you know, um, yeah. So, so, okay, well, how do you, what's your greatest sequel of all time? I mean, sequel? Yeah. I don't really care. Um, Mine's easy. It might, it this might, is the greatest. It might be the Nutty Professor ones because they, they didn't fall off. They really, he really didn't fall off. I mean, it was funny, and then it's funny again, and it, and it didn't really go back to the well. I mean, they did, but they didn't. So, um, shit, and then the, the Jason Bourne, that just turned into a series. So it's like, fuck, man. I mean, there's some good stuff. So sequel. a sequel could be the third movie in the franchise? Like, it could be the 12th movie in the franchise? I, I gotta go with... Fast and Furious? I got, oh, God. <laughs> That's a mini-series. <laughs> That's um, That shit's longer than Roots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They are all family. They ought to combine Roots and Fast and Furious. They get cars shipped to them. They can drive away. They, can they turn drive slaves away. into cars. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. And this, this is my Toby. <laughs> Harriet Tubman's in a fucking tricked out, fucking, a tricked out That's Dodge That's family now. starts. <laughs> <laughs> Harriet Tubman pulls up in a Dodge Neon. She blows the horn. Bop, bop. <laughs> they, I could have saved so many more if they knew what a car was. <laughs> she floors it and she jumps the border from the United States into Canada. <laughs> Frederick Douglass is in the passenger seat. Harriet, slow this motherfucker down. <laughs> He's fucking Tyrese's character. Slow this motherfucker down, Harriet. Shut up, Frederick. I know you fucking them white women. <laughs> Oh, Harry, get over it. <laughs> Have you seen your face? <laughs> <laughs> you
You got a face even a twenty dollar bill couldn't love. <laughs> When are they going to put her on the $20 bill? No offense, that but... That shit was supposed to happen like nine years ago. I mean, no offense, man. I mean... You don't want a Harriet in your pocket? Hey, look, I love Harriet. I love black history, but goddamn, man. I mean... Oh! <laughs> you, you pull your 20 out and they go, you know what? Just keep it, sir. <laughs> it was 1873. We'll take the hit. Just keep it. We don't want that fucking money. We don't want your money. <laughs> So yeah, man. Um. <laughs> Nutty Professor Two is your your. That's a great smash up. Roots meets Fast and Furious. It's a time machine. They go back. <laughs> What's your name, boy? All the slaves get away and fucking tricked out cars. <laughs> My name is Dom, and I'm gonna learn to drive. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that whip? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a nice whip. Why don't I show you mine? Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that made my stomach hurt. What would they call it? Fast roots? <laughs> furious roots? <laughs> the fury. Roots too fast, too furious. <laughs> roots of fury. <laughs> roots of fury. Hey, Colton, where'd you get that car? <laughs> Roots Alabama Drift. <laughs> Nas does the fucking soundtrack. Oh man, I ain't gonna lie, that fucking hurts my when stomach. When it all, when it all falls down. <sighs> my greatest sequel of all time is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Two. The first movie was an absolute banger. Okay. Raphael was gangster as shit. Okay. Damn. And okay. then the second one, it was a lot of, it was. Much more PG. Okay. Um, but the comedy was there. The, the, the combat was there. It's a fun movie you can watch over and over and over again. And uh, okay. it was really good. All right. The third one was an absolute shit show. Um, and I haven't watched anything since Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> That's how bad it was? Yeah. It's kind of like that woman who did the, the break dancing for Australia. Oh. She was so bad, they go, all right, no more. <laughs> no more. We're going to have flat football next fucking Olympics. And we're definitely gonna get the gold medal. You know what's that. really fucked up about that is people have been recreating her routine on TikTok, and they've been nailing it. <laughs> Regular, everyday, non-Olympic people are doing that woman's Olympic routine, and they're fucking. She you been, could do it here if your leg wasn't fucked up. Because <laughs> you got a hardwood floor and there's plenty of space. <laughs> I don't know why he's laughing. I'm just, I'm not that is fun. Fun. That's just, funny and fucked up at the same time. I'm just saying, like, if you, if you were healthy, you could TikTok that shit. You got all this beautiful space. Listen, listen. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> that is fucked up. I could do it. You know what, though, man? Yeah, we I, all could do it. Listen, my favorite Olympic moment was when, uh, <laughs> was when, uh, no, I, you said me and my dad, but she's on Soul Train the lineup, and she was like, that ain't gonna lie. I laughed my ass Somebody off. Somebody made one of her stepping over Tehran Lou like that. <laughs> <laughs> she should be hit with rocks until she stops. Hey, moving. here's what I think. Here's my thing. Okay, one of my favorite Olymp Olympic moments was when uh, it was, uh, you know, I think Tommy Smith and Juan Carlos, whatever, they, yeah, with yeah. the Black Power. I, mm -hmm. Okay. No one talked about the white dude in that was the one that gave him the glove. His mm -hmm. name was Peter Norman. That's why they both from Australia. One had the left hand, and the yeah. other had the right hand. It, mm -hmm. And one was, and he was from Australia. And they fucked. They they, they, they treated him like shit for yeah. the rest of his life. Back and then, but they flew to his funeral with pallbearers. Mm -hmm. Australia never forgot that. I think they sent her over on the for breakdancing to for, give revenge. Give revenge. <laughs> I think that was revenge. They were like, "Yeah, we'll show you, Mike." What was that? Fifty years later. <laughs> hey, they never forget. It's, it's like Haiti. It's like Haiti in the. It's not much going on down under. Yeah, yeah. it's like the. It's like the French and Haiti. Yeah, I, I know you try. You in, try. My, in my head, I can hear it. But when it comes I'm glad out, you can hear it in your head. Saying, I'm glad you can hear you know, it. In I your sound head. like Steve Irwin to me. <laughs> <laughs> I might, <laughs> but yeah. So. Crikey! <laughs> Crikey! So yeah, the, it's the revenge. And I was like, so she beat out people. She cheated. She had to have cheated. Yeah, I heard that she like scammed like the Olympic Committee by being part of the Olympic Committee for Australia. And her husband's on the chair too. Yeah, he was the coach. But, so, but that means that it was actually close for her to even make it. No, no, so, no, 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 no. It's a lot of people didn't get the opportunity to audition. Yeah. A lot of the real break dancers didn't get the opportunity. I was, if there had to be somebody over them, I would have been like, all right, uh, so what the fuck just happened here? That she went and, and made a spectacle and, and 
the world. Dude, there's, there's, okay, so there's a black dude at, at her performance. He's got sunglasses on. He's in the background. And you just see him looking around like, am I the only one, <laughs> one seeing this bullshit? <laughs> Yeah. The way she was getting rug burned on the ground. I just, oh. The Olympics jumped the shark on that. They were, I think they jumped the shark when they did trampoline, but still. I mean, to me, the Olympics are kind of outdated. We didn't need to, you know. No, but, that, but that's what they're bringing in. Skateboarding and uh, BMX, you know, with the, the stunt stuff, which I think is great. But, man, that right there, like, okay, guys. I mean, they, they look bad on What that. do you think about uh, Noah Lyles' uh, uh, possibly racing Tyreek Hill. It's got to be longer than the, uh, 60 yards that he wants. It's got to be 100 yards because Ty Tyreek was the one that wants to do it. So if you're the one that wants to and you're going to – you, you got to do it in Noah's no, backyard. No, no, no. If, if I want to do it, you have to do it on my terms. Okay. He challenged him. So if I was Noah Lyles, like, you're the one that wants it, not me. So we're doing 100 yards. If not, I don't give a fuck. Fuck, I already got the gold medal. So I would say 100 yards. Because you can to be. To me, he's the corniest nigga alive. It doesn't matter. He's got a gold medal. So here's what you do you go, you go like this. An Olympic sprinter, all of them, if you know sprinting, like the first. Track. Uh, yeah, the first 40 to 50. Yeah, Tyreek can win that. But they know how to maintain their speed yeah. mm -hmm. all the way through. Longer so after, after 50, fuck, I, I think he'll dust Tyreek. So I'd say, you know what? We're going 100 and, yards. And, and a 100 meter dash, 100 meter Noah Lyles wins 10 out of 10. In a 50 yard dash, I give Tyreek. A 50 yard dash, I think it's even. I, I give him about 30 percent chance. I, I think it's I almost. I think Noah will win seven out of 10, but I think Tyreek can get him, a, you know, two or three times. Yeah, that, that, it, I think anything 50 yards and under. Yeah, man, I think it, it's it's a toss up. But anything longer than that, man, that's when that Olympic sprint, uh, speed comes they, in. They don't. They it, hardly do things like this anymore. Back in the day, man, you know, before. The do you internet, remember the? The, uh, the uh, Battle of the Network Stars. Remember that? It was called the Battle of the Network Stars. What you do is all the people from sitcoms, remember those? That when they had sitcoms and everything, and they would have athletic events. And it was like, Welcome Back Carter, uh, Gabe Kaplan versus uh, Robert Conrad. Robert Conrad had his commercial about Duracell batteries, and he was supposed to be a badass like, in real life. And he, got, he goes, Knock this battery off my shoulder. I dare you. And they go, Oh, this dude's but tough. Right? So he thought he was a fucking badass in real life. So he was going to race Gabe Kaplan, who was a welcome back Carter. Welcome back. He was a teacher. He looked like a real dork. He was kind of like, look at Malik. Right? So he was like, so, so he goes, yeah. So they were going to do a, a, like a race. I think it was like a 100-yard dash or something. They did a 100-yard dash, and Gabe Kaplan smoked him. And Robert Conrad pulled up. Oh, uh, yeah, hammy. my hammy. Dude. I remember being at home, even my dad was like, oh, shit, oh, I mean, it was, that was, honestly, everybody was pulling for Gabe Kaplan, because Robert Conrad thought he was so badass, like he was, like he ruled Hollywood, he was like, you know, like he was the shit, he, seriously, he like, he, like the, the, the commercial was, go ahead and knock this better off my shoulder, I dare you, cut, and there, oh, Robert Conrad, man, Gabe Kaplan smoked his ass, hey, seriously, it was beautiful, matter of fact, look that up, Malik, but yeah, it was great, it was, I should Look up on, on uh, YouTube. We should watch it. But yeah, it was Gabe Kaplan. It was Battle of the Network Star. Battle of the Network Stars. Gabe Kaplan versus Robert Conrad. It was in a like a dash, like a fifty yard dash. Man, that shit was so good, bro. We got another. Am I the asshole? Okay. Uh, you want to read this one? Yeah, I'm gonna read this one. Did you send it to him or just me? Just you. Damn, man. You, yeah, I can hand you my. Why you don't like me, man? But is this personal, bro? Yeah, okay. he keeps saying he looked like piranha catfish. Am I the <laughs> asshole for excluding my autistic stepdaughter from my daughter's birthday party? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Rewind that. Say that one more time, please. Am I the asshole for excluding my autistic stepdaughter <laughs> from my daughter's birthday party? Oh, just the sound of that makes you sound like you're an asshole. Ooh, here we go. My 30-year-old daughter's eighth, uh, eighth birthday is next week. Wait, what? She's 30. When it says my... Yeah, okay. She's 30. She's 30. Okay, my daughter's eight-year-old birthday is next week, and we're planning on having a party for her and inviting around 20 other kids. Jesus fucking Christ. 20 other kids, okay? I also have a stepdaughter <laughs> from my marriage to my husband. Hold on. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? He's not the asshole automatically because 20 kids and an and aunt on top? Okay. Come on, man. Okay, listen, listen. listen. Come on, listen. man. You, that's that's 22 kids. Here we go, here we go. I also have a stepdaughter from my marriage to my husband 
and she desperately uh, and she desperately wants to also have a stepdaughter and she desperately wants to come. However, the thing is, she has a history of not behaving at birthday parties. <laughs> she she acts younger than her age. She's seven. Uh, and doesn't understand social cues. She's been invited to three of her classmates' birthday parties in the past. One of those parties, she blew out the can. <laughs> she, <laughs> she blew out the candles at the other two parties. She started crying when she wasn't able to blow out the candles at the other one. Eventually, people <laughs> stop inviting her to their parties, and she claims it makes her feel left out. Oh man, this is a doozy. I decided it would be best if my stepdaughter didn't come. Okay, now it's starting to make sense. She would either. <laughs> <laughs> she would either blow out the candles or have a tantrum and either way she would ruin the day for my daughter my husband is furious with me saying I'm deliberately excluding her for being autistic well <laughs> <laughs> taste of the tism he says she already feels excluded from her classmates parties but excluding her from her own stepsister's party will be even more cr cruel I told him it was my daughter's special day and I had to prioritize her feelings first. Oh my God! Am I the asshole? Man! You are the most monumentally mega mammoth asshole. Hey. She's the biggest asshole of all of these that we've ever done. Let me tell you something. It sounds bad, but, but it, look. No, it no, doesn't. Listen, 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 Linda. Go ahead. Linda, 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 Go ahead. Listen, the title sounds bad, and that last paragraph sounds bad, but it's the middle that makes it make sense. No. Okay, no, listen. I know it's 20 other kids, but if you got a badass kid, and like I said, she blew out the candle at the mother kid's birthday Bring party. Bring her a separate candle for her to blow out. Problem solved. You know what? You got to outthink the tism. Listen. You got to outthink the tism, bro. She ain't going to be tizzing if you, if you codify her tism activities. Listen. You know she can't stop blowing on stuff. Bring out a separate candle for her. You are gross. I saw that. That's disgusting. Hey, here it is. It's your you know stepsister, bro. No. But, hey, but, 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 but listen, it's her writing, okay? I'm, I'm assuming no one, you know, uh, doctored it up. The way she says it sounds bad because she goes, and when, when she says, <laughs> Uh, he, uh, she already feels excluded from her own classmates' party, but excluding her from her own stepsister's party would be more cruel. I told her it was my daughter's special day. You know what I mean? Like yeah, she's so saying, she's like that ain't even my, that tism yeah, ain't even in yeah, my family. So she ain't my she, she ain't really my kid. I mean, yeah. now she, this is grounds for a separation of family. Absolutely. So listen, I know it sounds bad, but I'm on her side. You're full of shit. I no think way. I think you gotta, hey, hey, take no her for a walk way. or something. <laughs> Take her for a walk. I don't know. Take her out in the woods. Bruh. You want to go hiking? She's seven. Just, just, well, hey, act like there's not a party that weekend and say, hey, honey. No, you bring her a cupcake with a fucking candle on it when you bring out the cake for all the other kids. Wait, 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 I got a question. Did you guys, either of you guys grow up with somebody with autism or down syndrome? We never had that growing up. No offense, but we never had, we never had that growing up. I mean, we had this we had a new vaccine problem. <laughs> hey, seriously. I mean, honestly, I'm being dead serious. <laughs> I didn't hear about autism until until the last 20, 25 years. I'm being dead serious. I mean, autism didn't start happening until like late 90s. Yeah, look that up. I mean, seriously, man, look that up. I mean, because I'm being dead serious because look, we knew people who, as we said, were a little off, right? No offense, but that's what we called it. They were a little off. Uh, they were all spectrum -y. And no, I'm not talking listen, about the I mean, internet. they were, they were, they, they were legally called retarded, right? We didn't say it, but we all knew. So it was like, okay. And they were, you know. So no one in your guys' family has autism or Down syndrome. Not, no, no, not in my family. No, I mean, uh, no. I have no Down no syndrome. Not, not legally uh, labeled, but I mean, I have a nobody. Uh, we have somebody down the line from our family, and I have someone mentally retarded in my family. Yeah, down the line we do, it's what but they call no, it, back it is. Day. That's a legal. That's a legal term. You know, it sounds bad, but it's a legal term. It's a legal term. So it's like you think we're being. I don't think he's retarded. But that be, look. That being said. That being said. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Listen. Really. That being said, I think <laughs> you don't tell that girl when the party is, and, <laughs> and you go for. And you, and you take her for a walk. 
You, you got tw- you, you got twenty know, kids. Bro. You're gonna ruin it. You're gonna she's, ruin. You're gonna ruin that, that girl's birthday party because bro, you are destroying the family dynamics by excluding this tizzy girl. All you gotta do is distract the tizzy, man. You seen? You've had how many other birthday parties that she's ruined? At least three. So you've got plenty of film to watch to prepare for this birthday party to where you distract her from her artistic ways. Damn, bro. Damn. You bring out a cupcake with a candle on it. As you bring out the cake for all the other kids who, you know, got their shit together. And then boom, and when it's time to blow out the, the, the cake and, and sing, you know, she gets to blow out a candle and she's not crying. She's not. I was a mom. I give him that look like that. When she started acting up, I'd be like, yes, I'd be like, mm-hmm. Bro, I'd have left chick when she said, this is my daughter. Like, that would have been the end. Like, yo. You know, if really- that's how you see things, there's no, there's no moving forward with us. This- Period. That's a, you know what? That might be the most divisive one ever. I mean, because, that, like I said, the last two, that wasn't the women's, that was them. They could have made themselves look better. Yeah. And they came off like that. And I know, like I said, from the title, I go, oh my God. But reading it, hey man. You can't this, you can't, no. Because, it, I understand. it would be one thing if she wasn't autistic. Listen, I understand the husband's point of view. I really do. Because you're a family. You're a family. But obviously, She's had issues with that kid, and Man. she ruined other people's okay, birthday so parties. Now you, yo, bro, you got to, hey, we got to get our shit together. Come on. And you're all the family, and you're just in the car going, I fucking hate my stepsister. <laughs> I, I mean, well, she, she doesn't. She's definitely going to, after the birthday party, when she doesn't get to go, and she gets to see all these new cool toys. Yeah, Where'd guess, you get this? Yeah, look, look what I did today. Mm. <laughs> and guess who wasn't here? Yeah. Mm. Hey, how was your hike? <laughs> <laughs> We got chased by a bear because I was making fun of him. And then, and then I went to his house and I ate his porridge. And <laughs> she turns into Goldilocks. Yeah, she, but still, I mean, but real talk. And I watched Fast oh. Roots. It was amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to say, honestly, I'm going to say no, she's not an asshole. What do you say, Malik? Uh, there's also a third option. It's called Everybody Sucks, where it's just bad for everybody. Oh, that's too easy, though, almost. Yeah. So what, what would you pick? The girl's autistic. She's an autistic well, kid. No, 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 Malik. What do you think? What do you say, Malik? Uh, I agree that sh- the girl should should show up to the party. So whatever that means. She, yeah, the mom's an asshole. The mom's an asshole. You can't exclude the stepsister from the birthday party right. when twenty other kids are gonna be there. I, I wonder if they lived. If they live together, then she. They have to live together. I mean, she's for sure the asshole. What they don't live together now. Either. The way she made it sound, uh, that they live together. She so, said, this is my daughter's birthday party. Yeah, know? she goes, it's my daughter. Yeah, I'm and, like, okay. You know, her stepsister. Right. And, that's the, and that's the way I read me, it. Me and Tizzy would be out. Deuces. Well, and then... Good the, luck raising that little girl by herself. Man, that's a tough one. You meet the, uh, you meet the woman of your dreams or, or the dude of your dreams, and all of a sudden, hey, it's my they daughter. Have an autistic kid. And you go, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, she's great. She's, she, she, she's funny. She's great in bed, gives great copy. I mean, she gives great conversations, and all of a sudden, ah! You're like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And you're going, uh. Would you guys date a woman with a child with autism? If it was that bad? I mean. They're of age at this point, so they're. Oh, they, oh you mean like, they're, like they live on their own? Nah, they're, they're, let's just say they're 20. It, it, like, like, do they live kid. with somebody else or they live with them? Is it a severe case or is it kind of like... <laughs> a severe case. <laughs> no, no. No, I'm saying no. I'm saying it's like this. Is it like, okay, you, you go... In my birthday! No, no you, go, you go like, hey, uh... <laughs> like, this is my daughter, Angel, and you go... I can say the alphabet backwards and forwards. <laughs> hey, uh, listen... <laughs> My job just transferred. <laughs> Don't you work in a plant? What I kind know. of tism? Do they, do they have the math tism? Is this, is this where a, I can ask them math know. questions and they answer it lickety split? Is this severe or? I mean, I, mean, I didn't think that far into the question. Obviously. <laughs> I mean, it, it makes a difference. If, 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 if it's severe. If I ask you what the square root of 3,471 is and you can tell me right away, I would date her. But if you aren't the type of tism to where I ask you that question and you don't know, yeah, I think if, I'm out. If it's the kind where you have to go like this, you go, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Where you just go, mm-hmm. What time's he going to bed? <laughs> okay, so. I'll be over after he goes to sleep. Uh, so you, in that van. <laughs> Man, that's mean. No, I try not to treat people that way. Um, 
To be honest, if I'm attracted to you, I'm attracted to you, regardless of all that. I'll That's a good say. question, Malik. That's a yeah. great question. I'm gonna say I hate. To I say like it. to think that I'm a good person, but you know, some things I, at, at my age I don't want to deal with anymore. You know what I mean? Also, oh, when you were younger, you would have dealt with. Yeah, I probably would have put up with it because you know you got to learn and grow and know what you like and you don't like. Now I'm 40, I know what I don't want to tolerate. So it's like. You know, sometimes it's okay think, to miss I think, shots. I think it's, I think it's a, it's a, it's a. You don't win every game. You don't. Man, that's a, that's a great question. I don't know, man. I think it depends on the case. Or how severe? How much do you love that person? How much do you think you can deal with it? I think you got to go out for a while, and, and then if it gets too bad, you go listen. You're gonna hate me, but I gotta tap out. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, I know it's the it's, worst breakup ever. No. I know you're gonna hate me, but I gotta tap out. Jesus. Hey, well, or, or, or what? Will you, will you lie to him? Hey, I'm fucking somebody no, else. but you can find a better you, way to say what you just wait, said. Will you wait, lie to him? You, yeah, hey, I'm what fucking she, somebody else. What is the autistic person got you in a fucking sharpshooter and a figure four? Ah, oh, I gotta tap out. This nigga's breaking my legs. I don't know. Woo! Hey, I'm telling you, man, that, that, that's a tough one. Because like I said, you meet, you know how hard it is to find somebody you, you know, that you think gets you and you're excited about. And like you go, fuck, this is my you know, big one. And then all of a sudden, this is what oh, you do. Fuck. This is what you do to the tizzy girl at one of the birthday parties going on. You take her to a wrestling match. It's all tizzy people like wrestling. <laughs> Like I said, so how's that different from hiking or taking her for a walk or, or taking her to... Well, cause, well, you should have Toys R Us, but you ain't got that shit no more. So, um, I don't know. I don't, take her to... I don't know, man. You got to take him to a wrestling match. Yeah. Uh, what it's are the, what, to me. What are the odds you're going to get a birthday party and a wrestling match in the middle of daytime at the same time? Because the kid's birthday party is usually around... Dude, there's always... It's usually around like, noon. There's backyard wrestling. There's but the, midget wrestling. There's... It don't gotta be. It's gonna be usually around noon is when the kids' birthday. From noon to what? You two, can... maybe. Noon to two, maybe three. Three hours is a long time with kids. So noon to say one thirty. Twenty kids, yeah. One thirty, okay. So you're not gonna take the the tizzy kid to the bounce house birthday party? Uh, you know what kind of activities? God are damn, man, that's a tough one. Oh, so what do you think, Malik? What do you think? Is she, is she an asshole? Uh, and and you can't and you can't say uh, they're both. I already answered. I think if they live together, she's an asshole. But if I, if they don't live together, she's not an asshole. In my opinion. And what do you, in my opinion, she's an asshole for separating the family. Hey, hold on, because they're sisters. They're, that's you know, yeah, she struggled with those other kids, but that's her. You know, that's her family. You, I'm with you, bro. To, I know. I, to me, there's no losers in it. I just want to know your honest opinion, and, and you said, and I think it's beautiful. But man, that's a tough one. That is fucking tough. Like I said, man. You finally go, oh, I got the right one. Hey, you want to meet my daughter? <laughs> and they just, <laughs> if they do that shit, you want to see my break dancing? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a slave driving a fucking <laughs> Dodge Dart? <laughs> oh, my God. That's, <laughs> that's Jason Bourne. <laughs> I love this episode. Hey, man, we better get some fucking feedback on this shit. This is the, the these two last two. Am I the assholes? That Malik. Yeah, she's a, she's a great a asshole. Malik separating the family and producer of the year, bro. And blame that on the tizzy. All right. So thank you guys for thank tuning into another episode. Make sure you go to Bobby. Oh, Bobby. hey, we went straight back to old school, just <laughs> offensive on this one. <laughs> Last one was for us to get over oh, our healing. That was another thing. Uh, so after the, that Wednesday show, I felt like I didn't really do well. Yeah. Um, I'm outside uh, vaping, um, just reflecting. And some of the audience members come up to me. One of them is this couple. They're on a, like their third date or whatever. Mm -hmm. She was like, I thought you were really, really funny. But she was like... She said it in a condescending way, and I'm like... How'd she say it, though? She was, she was like, you know, despite what everybody else did in there, I thought you were funny. I'm like, bitch, why did you just say... You didn't think that, I was funny. You know what I mean? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. You, you didn't have to, have to talk about everybody else in the room. Just tell me how you felt about it. You didn't have to... So anyway, right. she, was, she was giving me that type of energy. So I matched it, right? And she was out there before her date was out there. I guess he was in the bathroom or whatever. So yeah. he finally comes out. He's like taking on my side. Man, you were great. And I told him about the podcast, so they might be tuning in. Um, but I just want you to know, redheaded girl, that I thought you were a bitch for what, the way you said <laughs> what you said to me. 
Um, <laughs> but some people do come off that way, and you thought, you know what? That's just them. You know, what's funny is she tried to take it back, but I was like, I was like, oh no, you said what you said. You see? She's like, well, I didn't mean it that way. I was like, you meant it how you said it, and that's fine, that's fair. Yeah. But now I'm gonna give you shit the way you gave it to me, and if you don't like it, you should have kept your fucking mouth shut. And that, folks, is our episode. <laughs> so make sure you go to buymeacoffee.com backslash sorry we're canceled. Become a canceled crew member. For as little as six bucks, we get a bonus episode plus early access to all the regular episodes. Plus, you can pick up our t-shirts. Two different designs for 25 bucks with direct shipping to your house. Spread the word. Yes. I didn't, man, I should have said it last episode, but man, uh, shout out to uh, uh, my cousin Donald, my brother, and uh, my cousin Carolyn and Leanne for holding it down for my dad's funeral. Man, they did it. And I mean, I couldn't do anything and they held it down. So props to them, uh, even if they're watching. So I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. And all the, you know, well wishes and, and uh, you know, sorry for your loss. I, I appreciate everybody. I really do. So thank you so much for that. Uh, I'm BT. I'm Deion Curry. On the ones and twos. That's my man Malik right there. Until next time, you know the word. Hey. She ain't coming to my birthday party. <laughs>